So I wasn't real happy with the way the uh, X5SW was flying. So I thought, well, I wonder if I can switch my X5C1 board and put it into the SW. Um, wasn't, uh, didn't have the punch, didn't have the pitch. It seemed to have a little bit of a wind bug. Figured out a way to do it, so here's what I did. Now this is uh, the old board. This switch used to be installed, connected to those two. We're not going to use that anymore. Um, this was the camera port and it was connected in there. Don't want that anymore either. So here's how we made it all work. Inside the SW you're going to find a data board. That's not in the C1. It uses those other two connectors separately. So what I did is I took the red wire from this data board, soldered it onto the 3.7 terminal there from the old switch. The current runs through this data board. The yellow wire is returning the 3.7 volts when the switch is on to turn on your board. The blue wire up here was actually white on the old board. I changed all these wires. I had to extend the, that black and blue one to get it over to the other side. On the original board, the connectors for the camera are on the left side. On the old board, the C1, the, they're on the right. Anyways, so the blue wire is for your camera signal. That runs around over to here and it goes to the top, to, uh, the top connector, or the top solder point, um, with the front of the board facing away from us. The black wire, I just ran it around and back over to here. There's one that's slightly off to the left, right below the where I soldered that blue one on, and that's just your ground. Uh, another thing I did that I do with all of my birds when I got them open is I extended this antenna. On the old board, they're short. They're, I can't remember the length, uh, 31.25 or something like that. I basically doubled the length and went up to 62.5 millimeters. Um, that's actually some copper enamel wire I found off of an old motor winding, I believe. But anyways, that works great. Uh, one other thing that I did to this is I changed this battery cable. It's uh, slightly longer when the one that's on the SW board um, to accommodate for the new style battery plugging in directly rather than into uh, the connector that's on the old C1 board. Again, it's not necessary, but I did it just for that little extra cable. Um, so let's put it all back together and see how it flies. Oh yes, the one thing I forgot to mention, I really wanted to, uh, I was going to switch over the LEDs. I really like the blue LEDs on the SW. Unfortunately, the X5C1 board puts out a different voltage for the LEDs than the SW does. Um, the C1 board puts out a higher voltage, 3 point something, and the SW puts out 2.8-ish or something like that. So we are, instead of messing with the LEDs or trying to wreck anything, we're just going to stick with the original X5 color LEDs, the red and green, I believe they are. So no blue LEDs, but if I figure that out, I'll post it on a later video. All right, let's put it back together, see how it flies. Another thing you're going to need to do is change out the motors. The motors in the X5C1 are actually 7 millimeter by 20, and the SW has 8 by I believe they're 13 millimeter they're kind of an odd size but they're a, they're an 8 millimeter motor so you're gonna have to change out and solder all your uh, SW motors onto the X5C1 board so maybe that'll give it a little more power too we'll see